Hey, Nagendra. Hey, Benizer. Uh, thanks for joining us here today. Great to be here. Uh, my name is Abnizer Gobrahiwat, and I am a cybersecurity specialist uh, here at IBM. I have a special guest with me here today. Uh, Nagendra Patwardhanam, a product manager with Cardium. Been here for about six years now. Nice. So uh, the reason we have Nagendra here today is to talk about Guardian Data Protection's version 12 updates. Yep. Uh, he is the man to give us all the updates today. So uh, before we get into that, uh, yeah. into all the updates, uh, let's divide them into four main categories, yeah. right? Uh, there is improvements in real-time uh, insights, yeah. as well as streamlined compliance, right. uh, simplified Guardian infrastructure, mm -hmm. and finally, there is an increased support for hybrid cloud environments, right. which you all always do. Yeah. Um, so. Let's start with the real-time trust evaluator. Uh, there is uh, improvements in ATA, as well as uh, real-time trust evaluator, mm -hmm. uh, as well as user experience enhancements. Right. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. Yeah. So one of the things that we've, you know, the reason why we had these four categories is because we've been, you know, working with customers, business partners, and a lot of IBMers, and we want to make sure that, you know, Cardium GDP for everyday use is as best as it can be. So mm -hmm. we're making a lot of investments and into these four broad areas, right? Mm -hmm. So one of them is, of course, with real-time risk insights, the ability to use GDP analytics to whether that is ATA mm -hmm. or RTTE, uh, RSOI, and a lot of those capabilities. Mm -hmm. We've focused with ATA has been to make investigations a lot more uh, faster and to really eliminate any sort of external noise that you may have on those. So whether that is adding new filters, uh, providing you reports in, in a condensed manner so that way you don't have to go to multiple screens mm -hmm. um, and the ability to eliminate certain entities from an investigation. All of these really to help you fasten or spin up your investigations and you can close those cases mm -hmm. a lot more faster. Yeah. Uh, and that's something we're going to continue to do that this year as well. Yeah. Um, with Real-Time Trust Evaluator, RDTE, uh, we had the ability to, you know, group connections into trusted versus untrusted and that's always been there mm -hmm. what we've now done is the ability to use them in your policies so this would make your uh, you know alerts a lot less uh, noisy um, removes false positives so really a lot more uh, analytics to to make to really eliminate noise and to make uh, providing insights a lot more faster and Security uh, incidents with our SLP policies as well. The ability to detect automatic security incidents yeah. without really using uh, data security policy. So we're, we're, that's one of the areas we're making a lot of investments and continues to be focused, not just within GDP, but also across the entire Guardian portfolio as well. You'll see a lot of those uh, in other aspects of the product portfolio as well. And Guardian Insights as well. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's a big part of Guardian Insights, actually. Yeah. 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 That's, that's really good. So that's a good summary of the real-time insights. Uh, let's move into the streamlined compliance. And some of the things that were improved were uh, there was a simplified audit process uh, as well as faster discovery and classification. Right. Yep. Uh, can we touch a little bit more into that? And yeah. if they're I'm missing some more features. Yeah, I mean, support for compliance programs is what a lot of our Guardian customers use Guardian for. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make that even better. So we've, you know, that's one of the, one of our primary use cases that a lot of our customers uh, use to Guardian for and really want to make it better. So with with uh, with classification, we've made enhancements to make sure that, you know, catalog search can be a lot faster. Mm -hmm. This is especially important when you have potentially hundreds of data stores. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes, you know, catalog search is actually a lot viable because it's, it doesn't have too much of an impact on your data sources. Mm -hmm. What we've done is the ability to use one policy and to, to identify multiple elements within that. So you don't have to apply multiple policies at once, right? Mm -hmm. Makes your classification way, way faster. Um, with uh, improvements to our audit processes, the ability to add remote recipients, uh, use your custom templates mm -hmm. for your audit processes, I believe that's going to make uh, your compliance out of the box support for a lot of your compliance programs a lot more smoother. Yeah. Um, saves, saves a lot of time. So. Mm -hmm. That's been one of the focuses too. Mm -hmm. um, I think vulnerability assessments, we hear a lot of our customers talk about, hey, Guardian does a really good job with uh, helping me identify what my database vulnerabilities are. Mm -hmm. But how do I know those are fixed? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So with now, um, with the ability to rescan in service now, mm-hmm. not only do we help you identify that, but you can also tell you whether or not that was fixed as part of your uh, vulnerability management process a yeah. couple of weeks or months after. Yeah. So that sort of completes the loop and gives yeah. you uh, the risk information as well. Yeah. And these are features that have been requested, uh, the integration with ServiceNow yeah. and kind of like simplifying that whole process. Yeah. So uh, it sounds like a very exciting update. Yeah, no, we're we're super excited about it because, like you know, all of this is like a, uh, all of the requests from our customers and partners, like I mentioned, coming together, and mm-hmm. and that's that's really shows goes on to show, the 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 the, the credibility, the diligence in which, that the we apply in terms of prioritizing what is really needed for our customers. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, so let's get into the third, uh, like main category of features. Uh, it is simplified guardian yeah. infrastructure. Um, and with that, there is uh, more visibility into monitoring uh, Guardian uh, managed units, including uh, central managers slash aggregators mm-hmm. and collectors, uh, as well as some security enhancements yep. with uh, RHEL 9. Uh, can you touch a little bit into that? Yeah, this was with the, our biggest theme. We are super excited about the mm-hmm. capabilities. Serviceability support isn't something that people get excited about, but mm-hmm. we are because this has been in the works for quite some time, mm-hmm. especially from our large, some of our really large customers. How do you make uh, management of Guardian a lot more smoother and easier, mm-hmm. right? So we have now have the ability to um, view all of your centrally managed units in one single place. We're starting with health telemetry of all your central managers, aggregators, all the way down to S-tabs mm-hmm. from one appliance. So we have the visibility of all of that. We're calling this the cross same health view. This is sort of the precursor for what's coming down the road, mm-hmm. which is, you know, ability to look at patches or to distribute certificates. Mm-hmm. Those are things that we haven't planned, but you know, what, what exists right now is this new appliance. Mm-hmm. Um, we've also made a lot more enhancements, whether to, to improve our data reliability for our STAP clustering, for example. Um, on the middleware, we've added support for um, the ability to detect if there's a conflicting application, for example, for troubleshooting. Mm-hmm. Uh, the underlying middleware, including our operating system, is updated to the latest one, so it's more secure. Um, and when it comes to supportability and, and providing tr- helping troubleshooting, mm-hmm. uh, we're excited about uh, Looper UI and a login dumper. Essentially, we've given you a script mm-hmm. to, to centrally manage and collect your logs mm-hmm. that will significantly reduce the time before our support teams get involved. We mm-hmm. believe this can save us a couple of weeks. Um, by ability to centrally gather logs and specifically look for, uh, identify uh, is- sessions that have issues mm-hmm. and share that with a support team. And this is something that customers can do pr- before our R&D or engineering teams get involved. Yeah. So this is this <laughs> has been in the works for some time. You can yeah. probably tell I'm excited about the, the updates that we've done. And this is an area that we will be a focus. We know it's important for a lot of customers and yeah. we'll continue doing uh, more updates in this area. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, so number four, last but not least, yeah. uh, there is more increase in support for different hybrid cloud environments. Yep. Um, yep. Let's say more connections to universal connectors. Uh, that's something that the team usually always does, uh, not just on big updates, but on an ongoing process, as well as support for newer databases. Uh, can you touch a little more into that? Yeah, of course. And we hear this right when when we know uh, there's been an increase in uh, number of data sources or the you know, migration of your data towards the cloud. So we need to support where our customer's data is. So we are constantly adding more and more support, uh, whether that is for your on-premise sources through our agent-based approaches or through uh, agent-less on our universal connectors work stream as well. Yeah. That is fairly independent, like you said. Uh, every couple of months, we are constantly updating and reprioritizing what connectors our customers are asking us for. Mm-hmm. Um, if there is something that the list is already published on our GitHub page, mm-hmm. if there's something that you don't like to add, mm-hmm. I would say, please go ahead and create like an idea yeah. and then we'll get to work. Yeah. Um, and this is something that that constantly, like this is this has been like a continuous theme for Guardian for the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. We'll continue to be that going forward. Yeah. We want to make sure that we have the, the breadth of support of different connectors and different approaches yeah. that Guardian can support. So yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, it's a lot of updates. Uh-huh. We are super excited. Yeah. Uh, and, and we continue to sort of make, want to make those investments in those four, four areas as well. Yeah. And um, there is a version 12.1 coming. Uh, are you able to tell us for this video any big updates that you're excited about? 
Yeah. Or if you're if you're able to. Yeah. <laughs> just just to continue. One one thing we want to make sure is that you know the, the four themes that we spoke about mm -hmm. they continue to be the general sort of areas that we want to make those investments in. Mm -hmm. So you will see a lot of improvements like I mentioned earlier for ATA when it comes to ability to close your investigations faster. Mm -hmm. That's a theme that we'll, we will see some some updates on that. Mm -hmm. uh, the centralized management, simplification of guardian infrastructure. Yes, I think that's an area where we, we know we know there's a lot coming like I mentioned earlier. So yeah. stay tuned for some of those updates. Mm -hmm. And of course, the risk analytics and finally in terms of support for our new sources, that is something that we are going to be making a lot more uh, updates and uh, we're excited about what's coming again. It's the September is the September two. September two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm excited for that update. Uh, thanks for your time today, uh, Nagendra, and I'll see you for twelve point one update in September. Thanks so much. All right. Good for thanks for having me. All right. Thank you. Yeah, see ya. Of course.